App Builder is a low-code, designed-to-code, cloud-based WYSIWYG that helps digital product teams build applications faster than ever. The reason we created App Builder was because digital product teams need to be more productive. 60% of your application development time is spent on the user interface. And for most developers, web layout and CSS is hard. It's difficult to transition from a desktop development environment to the web and there really aren't any tools out there that can help you do it in a modern way for platforms like Angular, Blazor, React, or Web Components. If you haven't looked at tools like App Builder yet, you will be. Gartner and Forrester both predict that by 2025, over 40% of development will be done with low-code, no-code tools similar to the App Builder. The difference between App Builder and other tools on the market that really do restrict development teams is that App Builder is based on a design system with UI components in UI kits like Adobe XD, Sketch, or Figma with matching components in platforms like Angular, Blazor, React, and Web Components. This means that anything a designer does, a developer can do as well in the App Builder. You don't have to choose one tool over another. Designers can stay in the tool of their choice. Developers can use a tool like App Builder along with Visual Studio Code or Visual Studio. It doesn't matter. To get to the App Builder, go to the Infragistics homepage at infragistics.com, select Design and Development, and click App Builder. App Builder is 100% web-based. There's no third-party dependencies and no heavy IDEs to install. As long as you have a web browser, you can access the App Builder. Simply click Sign In, select your sign-in mechanism, either Google, Microsoft, Apple, or your Infragistics ID. I'll click Microsoft. I'll sign in under My Account. And you're into the App Builder Start page. We've designed App Builder so you can hit the ground running. We ship pre-built sample applications, templates, and layouts, which you can start with to explore the application and learn. So for example, if I select the Team Collaboration application, it opens up in the App Builder. I'm presented with some videos I could watch, but I can get right to work by looking at the views of the different pages. I can click around. I can see the properties for each one of these components and I can explore the application without doing any development myself. Another challenge for developers and development teams is theming and branding. App Builder gives you all of the capabilities you need to apply pre-built installed themes with the application, which are Material, Bootstrap, or Fluent UI, or you can create your own Fluent, Bootstrap, or Material-based theme by modifying the typography, colors, roundness, and elevation, or light and dark mode. Changing the theme is as simple as clicking the theme option from the theme tab. The benefit of the App Builder being backed by a design system is that it has a toolbox full of UI controls. Each one of these UI controls is represented via a UI kit in Figma, Adobe XD, and Sketch, and a real component that we ship as part of our Ignite UI product in Angular, Blazor, React, and Web Components. Like any WYSIWYG drag and drop tool, you can drag anything from the toolbox onto the screen and it will be seated within the layout of the screen. So for example, if we delete the calendar here, let's go ahead to the toolbox. We'll search for calendar. Let's drag a new calendar over. And I want this calendar to actually live on top of those other items. And there we go. When I select an item, you'll see that the properties are on the right hand side, just like you would expect. So I can change the type of calendar if it's data bound or not, the value and what date I want it to be by default. I can also change features like height, width, margin, and layout. With our plugins for Adobe XD and Sketch, you can synchronize your application directly from those tools in the App Builder or from the home screen when you click New App, simply click Import Designs, either drag and drop your file or get the plugins to install in the design tool of your choice. App Builder also supports full data binding with REST and OpenAPI. For example, if I click my project, let's click a new view. I'll call this grid view. I'll go ahead and hit Control E to bring up the same options I have in the toolbox. And I'm going to type in a data grid. I'm going to set this data grid to 100% width and 100% height. 
Next, let's go to the data tab. I'm going to click the plus sign, add a new REST API. I have a URL which is live in the cloud, which is a RESTful API returning the Northwind customers table. I'm going to click done. I'm going to select my data. I'm going to select all of my fields. For fields that it can't decipher because it was REST, I can go ahead and tell it what it is. So we'll say that this is a string. I'm going to say done. Now, if I go and select the grid and I go to the data options on the grid, I'll say grab table one and you can see that I have the customer's data in the grid. You can do the same thing uploading a JSON file, uploading a JSON file which is a representation of a open API or Swagger definition, or you can link directly to a Swagger definition on the web to use your web API created in ASP.NET Core or Java. The real unique differentiator between App Builder and other tools on the market is that we give you a real-time preview of your application. By clicking the preview button, here is the grid that we just created. So you can see all of my data is in the grid, along with all the capabilities that the grid has, like column pinning, column grouping, sorting, filtering, etc. If I click edit, and I'm back at this screen, I can continue to work on my application. At any time, and no matter what screen I'm on, I can click preview to see that screen as it would render in the browser. I can also change the screens from the selector in the upper left. Or if there's navigation already built in, I can interact with the application just like I would in the browser. And finally, one of the biggest differentiators and features that developers love is the production ready code that comes with any application built with the App Builder. I can either publish to GitHub or I can download the zip file of everything that I've built. You can see the code by clicking preview, switching to code view, and you can see exactly what's generated per screen. This isn't the spaghetti code of the past that you might have experienced with other tools. This is real code that you would build yourself that passes the sniff test of what a developer or architect would expect. Even better, things like this grid definition that we did, if we look at the TypeScript, we actually create a data service and that data service is using HTTP in whatever platform you're trying to generate the code in to get the data from the cloud. To get started on your journey using the App Builder, go to infragistics.com forward slash products forward slash app builder and start your trial today. To get more great videos like this to learn how to use the App Builder and other Infragistics tools, click the subscribe button to get a notification when we post new content.